Hey guys, I'm Nels, I'm Rifle from T8 Point and today I'm going to teach you how to enter FUG like a point CSGO. This video was sponsored by Beyond and if you would like to get yourself some Beyond use code endpoint for 10% of your order. Link is in the description below. So the product of passing is really important. For me like if I go out ramp, it will be the easier way to be like that. So it's like in every map it's different. So in ramp I will show you coming here. This is I think like the risk like when you're going out up this is the the risky one when you pick city so when you're here i think you have the advantage i'm pretty sure like i always kill one so clearing this angle you're close to the wall every time clearing this angle after it i'm coming here like right now sometimes if you're going late for the from ram it will be like kind of risky because like it's either you're clearing shadow or you're clearing sandwich because like there is a position that everyone holding like when you're clearing sandwich this position so for me i like to clear like to gamble on sandwich that nobody's here kind uh, it's really important to know how to go to open the round in every place the map like in every map for example if you're wally bench you should clear uh, shadow and someone will take the info from here and just take the sandwich and try to trade because this is how you should go and clear the side because probably you have smoke city if you execute it but this is more random in my opinion but this is the really bad when the players going here to Tetris, not doing anything here. It's fine that one player will be here because like you need a player that will be like the trade guy. But you need at least like one guy is going out here, maybe one sandwich or guy with him. The importance of flashes on CSGO overall, this is really important. You need to understand like if you know exactly where is the player, like the city, the city player, where is he? It will be easier, easier to kill him. For example, if this is flash lamp, this is everyone knows about the flash from Mirage. And the Dr. Where is the A player, it's fine. Keep go with the flash. But if we know the op city, it will be useless to use this flash because for you right now. Get the flash like for half a second and it's nothing. So if we know where is the player, for example, if you're going out trap and you want to flash, you need to flash to get the opera. Understand? This is really important. Like you need to understand if you have like if you have like the info on the op or the, the player, whatever, you need to know how to use the flashes. Okay, if you're going out to middle and you want like this is the default flashes when you're going out to middle. One guy is flashing here, you get like if someone jumped to middle or the connector guy, and this is the VP flash that everyone's throwing with the flash on ramp. So this is really risky when you're going out to middle, but when you're flashing when you're flashing like both of the flashes, VP flash and mid ramp flash, it will be easier for you to go out. And every time, like for example, you want to clear angles, you cannot you cannot flash every angle. Uh, for example, if you want to clear uh, under, you cannot flash, and if you want to clear, uh, you need to understand like what you you actually need to clear for your team. But you always need to think to have two flashes at least to the late round. Like for example, middle as a team, smoke top one, smoke uh, window, and you have a player. It's, okay, let's say let's explode through the smoke top one. Every flash, so in gear, and you need to always think about the team. Okay guys, I have flashes to end the game round. I think it's really, it's really important to see his goal. This is the distance between you, the first guy that's going to kill the guy on the side, and the second guy. So we have a keyword in the end point. For example, I'm the first guy. Let's imagine I'm the first guy that's going entry. Okay guys, I'm gonna open the side. Okay, I open the side. For example, the guy, if I'm here, the responsibility of the second guy to say, guy spacing, guy spacing. And I need to realize that I, I I cannot concentrate the radar as well, like to see if he's close to me is, uh, or not. So the first guy just need to focus on his aim, and the second guy, the second guy, if he's not close to me, he, he did a mistake because he didn't say anything about it. As for example, I'm going like kill someone. It needs to be like really like if I'm here, it needs to be here. just to try to cover cow, for example, and be ready to play this guy on default and be ready always on my contact on my first contact. But understand, if you are the first guy, you don't you cannot control the spacing. It's only the second guy can, can can control the spacing. Sometimes I'm not even listening to the second guy. I'm just going out. <laughs> so the difference between up to the side or to rush uh, to A or whatever, it's really a really big difference between both of them. So if you're rushing, I believe you flashes, like teammate flashes. So you're going out, you just need to, for example, if I'm going out, I like to jump here, like this until like you're coming here, saying Edward, the pillar, you have left side, Probably have the smoke window. This end gas, you probably win the win the down. Difference between pop, like right now if I'm popping, you need to always clear. For example, if you're coming here, always need to clear everything before you pop. Because you like you have the line that you want to pop. For if you're if you're on B, it's this line, 
you already need to, to go from here to pop. But when you're going, you need to go slowly and need to clear everything and you need to take your time. For example, check here, check here, check here, check here. Okay, you can flash. I'm going out, flashing. Yeah. So, most of the times, what the B players does that is jumping like that. So, most of the times, you will see you. But I will give you a really uh, tip what you can do. If you know that he's jumping here, even from here, if you know that he's jumping out, okay, you have the guy, probably you can probably flash to the second guy or the guy that's flashing. When he's flashing, you know, catch him off guard. And you're jumping with two flashes and you can kill him, the guy, because probably he will be like stuck here or go back. And you have the timing. You don't need to even to go this line. If you know that he's jumping, you need to play on it. If you if you are in this position and you don't, you don't, you don't see you, you're already with the, the duel. For me at least, like, you know, that you can you can really jump every time. And when he jump, like, for me, like, you need to actually concentrate to understand. If he jump like this, when he's here, you need to say, well, like, when he already jump here, you need to say the guy that's flashing, okay, flash something, and he, he will get a flash. Yeah. And you, you want the, probably the duel. Because they're so close to him, and you can, not even jumping, you can just stay here, kill him, or jump the guy, and focus on short. Because... He, 100% well, will be blind here. For example, guys, if you are low HP and you know uh, where is the op, and you are the low HP, so you can say to the guys, guys, I will go first. For me, at least, I feel more confidence to go out and kill the guy with the op when I have red. Because if he if he has like one bullet to kill me instead of M4, like you, you need to understand, like you, he has all percentage if he has M4 to kill me when I'm red. If he has op, one bullet, if if you miss it. I kill him. You need always to understand if you have an orb holding you and you're red, just go wide as fuck and kill him. Yeah, um, but I want to show you some, something else. Like for me, it's really important to know and OP is fuck. If I'm going out middle, this before, you're doing default, smoke top mid, smoke window. When you want to take sp uh, space on middle and like, I don't know, like they like to smoke connectors, I kind of play default on middle. I really like when the guy, we have one kettle guy and one deal. When you're coming here, you have smoke window, and you are the same line, you are working together. For example, okay, get to guy, okay, more left side connector for me, you my left side, clear this angle, for example. You can actually take the duels slowly as fuck, and, and you're not even together, you're not like, you're not saying the spacing wall, but you're still together, you have, you have the same crossfire. Even if you have the smoke, you're helping each other. So, okay, more left side, okay, I clear right side, it cannot be left side, smoke top cone, you can take connector right now, even if you have smoke, if you have smoke here. And this is not always when you are in the same line with your friend. Like, even if you are down and up, everything, basically. 